And then Jesus, and Jesus said unto those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my word, then you are my disciples. So we see the perseverance of the saints here. The evidence is, is that you continue in his word. It's not just a question of saying, uh, saying I'm saved and that's it. Now I'm ready for heaven. No, the evidence of our salvation is that we will continue in his word. You know, God didn't, God didn't give us this Bible so that we can pick and choose whether we want to obey it or not. You know, God gave ten, God gave ten commandments, not ten suggestions. When Jesus said a new commandment I give unto you, he wasn't saying that I'll give you a new option that you can choose to obey or not. He gave us this because he, he gave, the, 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 we, got, we got the Bible and Paul was inspired to write his epistle, so was Peter and so was James, for a purpose that we might live by them. It's not an option. It's not a choice. But we don't do it because we're trying to escape hell. We do it because we've already escaped hell. We are born again and we don't serve him because we're scared of hell. We serve him because we love him. We want to be obedient it's out of a sincere love for God. I mean, after all, can you just imagine going into someone's house and the parents telling their you see the parents telling their children to do something, and the parents ignoring them, running around, and you say to the parents, you say to the mother or the father, "Why is your child so disobedient?" <coughs> And the mother looks at you and says, oh, because, because they love me. I mean, would you believe that's love? Can you just imagine if I was, if you came in my house and my, and my wife said to me, oh, D David, can you help me do something? And I say, no, I can't. Do it yourself. I'm not going to do that. And you say to my wife, why does, why does your husband talk to you that way? Well, that's because he loves me. <laughs> Well, you see, friends, if you don't believe that somebody, a child loves their parents when they disobey, if you don't believe that a man loves his wife when they won't do the request, then what makes you think that a person loves God when they don't obey him? We show our love for God by our obedience. By the life that we live, we show our love for him. Uh, let's go take a look at another verse of scripture, John 14, verse 22. Judas said unto him, that's not his chariot. The Bible wants to emphasise that, he's not his chariot. Don't get the wrong one here. <laughs> Judas said unto him, not his chariot, Lord, how is that, how is that thou will manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? That's an interesting. How are you going to manifest yourself to us and not unto the world? Look what Jesus gave in answer. Jesus answered and said unto him, If any man love me, he will keep my words. Now, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not because you're scared of hell. It's not, because you don't, it's not because you're frightened that you're going to be cast into the lake of fire. You serve him because you really do love him. And the reason you love him is because he first loved you. If any man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him. And we will come unto him, and make an abode with him. He that loveth me not, keepeth not my saying, and the word which you hear is not mine. So when somebody is willfully walking in disobedience to the will of God, it's either it's, it could be it's either evidence that they might fall they're falling away, might return, but it could be the result that they're making a false confession. That they're not really saved. <laughs> they're not really saved. I mean, okay, any, every one of us has at times been disobedient to the Word of God. Every one of us at some time has been di disobedient to the Word of God. Now, I'm not going to ask you to make a confession to me. Because I'm not going to give you three hour marriage to say. You know, we confess our sins to Him. Now, you might want to, you can, you can confess your faults one to another but you don't confess your sins one to another. But um, I don't need to know, because I ain't going to tell you what mine are. <laughs> and I, I, I gag my wife so she won't tell you either. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't, but um, obviously we have, at times. But when a person deliberately, willfully chooses, I'm a Christian, well, 
I don't go to church. Mm. I don't do this. I don't do that. I'm a Christian. <coughs> I can go to the nightclub. I can do this and I can do that. Well, they're not walking in obedience. It's evidence to me they're not saved. I mean, you can teach a parrot to say, I'm a dog, I'm a dog, I'm a dog. Just stand in front of a parrot's cage and go, I'm a dog, I'm a dog. And that parrot, off your little ball, go, I'm a dog, I'm a dog, I'm a dog. <laughs> but instead of, instead of parrot, and you get Christians like that, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. But the trouble is, the life that they, sh the life that they live show that they're not a Christian. If, if a creature walks on here on, on four legs, if, a, if that door should open and in walks a creature on four legs, wagging its tail going woof woof, I'm sorry, don't tell me it's a duck. <laughs> I won't believe you. If it looks like a dog, and it walks like a dog, and it acts like a dog, I'm going to believe it's a dog. No matter, no matter how much you tell me it's a duck, I'm going to believe it's a dog. And you can get some Christians that can say, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. But if they curse like the world and act like the world and live like the world, I ain't going to believe they're a Christian. <laughs> By their fruits, you will know them. I'll tell you one of the things, when I'm preparing these messages, I get just as convicted. Because <laughs> God is dealing with all of us. As someone says, when you point one finger at someone, you've got three, you've got three pointing back at you. <laughs> So, perseverance is what will happen to the true believer. Now, his perseverance is not going to make you a true believer. If you're a sinner, you can work 24 hours a day and still be a sinner. But perseverance is the results of your salvation and it's the natural consequences. There, there was once a man who lived an immoral life. And he was urging his sister, in other words, instead of an immoral life, he was sleeping around with other women, and he was living an ungodly life, and he urged his sister to go and listen to a, his minister preach. He said, he's a very good preacher, and, I want, and you should go and listen to him preach. And the sister looked at the man and said, I ain't going to go. If this preaching hasn't had any effect on your life, and I don't think how it's going to affect some might be. You see, the thing is about it, friends. I know if my preaching is good. Not because you tell me it's good, but because I see a change in your life. You can say that that was a wonderful message, but it doesn't mean a thing if it doesn't change your life. I never forget I heard um, Billy Graham once tell a story. He got on an aeroplane once. And there was this man cursing away. He was coming up with the most vile language going. And one of the stewardess said, Don't use that kind of language. You've got Billy Graham behind you. There ain't no blank, Billy Blank. Billy Graham. <laughs> and they said, Well, Billy Graham's behind you. So he looked around and he sees Billy Graham. He said, ah, Billy Graham. He says, I love your sermons. They, they really changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> and it might, it makes you wonder what it was like before, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but the result of a good preacher is when his words become a reality in the life of the people Amen. and you see it change you see people that were full of anger now having love you see you see families that were divided now united you see people having a greater love for god it's not a question of saying oh i love your teaching if you're not taking the teaching and applying it into your heart mm. and living it out then i'm a failure